Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to show you real quick how to build a beat inside of the MPC program with the MPC Studio 2. Now, it's not going to be nothing real fancy. It's just to show you real quick how you could punch out a quick melody or a quick drum pattern just to get you going. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see here. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get a plug in. What I'm going to try to do is just use the ones that's already built inside of um, MPC. So. Uh, let's check hype real quick and I'm gonna pull up let's go for a piano uh, so one of the next things you want to do is if you want to know how to play chords chords progression next thing you want to do is just hold uh, shift and then hit 16 level and then you use a track wheel and go to progressions so as you can see the progressions are in there next thing is if you hold shift and 16 levels again you can change the um the key that it's in as you can see things are changing here as i do it on the mpc studio 2 as well um i'm gonna go ahead and change that and what i'll do i'll just go to some chords here as you can see it's changing here and it's also changing here of what kind of keys I'll be using so I think I like this pop I'm gonna change that piano though uh, let's see what else okay and if anything we could change the sound later on so as you can see on the screen you have this here you could also remove that by holding shift and hit F on Mac. I'm not sure what it is on Windows, but shift F, you can always open and close this so you can have more screen. All right, and let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and record it. I'm gonna keep my tempo at 118. That's what I usually start it off, and then I'll speed it up or slow it down. Uh, that's the tempo I like to play in, so we'll do it from there. Let's go ahead and shrink this up. So hit record and then start play. that for a moment we can go ahead and just quantize these all right so we know we can go ahead and name this as a chorus and then on you hit track select so you can go to a next track and scroll the wheel and I'm just gonna add the bass here and we can go back up to the first track I'll go ahead and minimize everything and we'll just take these bass notes copy and we'll go back to the second track and we can use the arrow keys and paste it and now let's go ahead and find a bass we'll go to baseline wait let's cancel that real quick and this is actually we're going to select a new track so we'll hype uh, let's make sure we didn't switch that okay and then we're going to go back here select baseline all right let's see what we got just uh stock what it has all right so we'll look for another sound let's find a different bass here let's go to the subs and at the base so we'll go ahead and add an next track and go ahead and let's see here so as you can see we have the program that I'm gonna use as a drums but these are all my plugins that I'm adding uh, let's add a different plugin here uh, let's down again and go back to track one so what I'm gonna do is pull this out uh, is copy this and we're gonna move it down to 
it says pads that's track number three you can go ahead and post this so what i did i'm gonna invert i inverted this um i took it from the bottom and i moved it up and then i'm gonna add a plug in here uh let's go over to the mixer and flex beat um I add this plug in flex beat and this is what we have now with also this sound effect Orleans uh, with the Salona. All right, so, and what I'm gonna do also is turn the velocity down on these notes here, here. On these notes, I just highlighted all of them and brought the velocity down. Now, you can play the notes regular. Um, I just have it on full, um, full level because when I take it out of MPC, I'll go ahead and logic. So I got this other sound that I found in Hype. It's called Bellasomo. I think that's how you say it. All right, so we're just gonna play this here. Hit the overdub. it all set up in there what I'm gonna do now is just throw some drums on here and uh, let's go to a next track here uh, here uh, let's select programs have some, have some stuff already set up here uh, we'll go ahead and rename this drums all right and I'll do them the track at a time but I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna build it in one track but in my next video or another video I'll show you how to actually separate and have your drums on different channels like you would here um, in the mixer so we're gonna go ahead and add some hi-hats now that's the hi-hats um, a trick you could do with the MPC studio 2 you can actually just hold shift and hit note repeat and as you can see there it will repeat the notes for you, you can even up to 32 all right, so we're going to program in the i-hats here. All right, so let's go ahead and hit overdub. Play. So another trick I want to show you when it comes to your 808s. All right. So what you can do is you hit it and then you hit 16 levels and now you can actually tune them. All right. So you can actually like, you know, tune your 808s. All right. You can go ahead and close this. It will still work. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and program some drums on here, the rest of the drums here, and then we can rock through this. Oh, wait, before we do. Another thing I want to show you, if you look here, our sequence is only four bars. The next thing you want to do is actually come up here to edit, sequence, and double length. And now you actually have it at double length. So now that's when you're programming your drums, you have you know a little bit more space to play with. So let's go ahead and drop this in here. To the mixer you can hit uh mode and just hit where it says pad mixer and you can go down to the mixer we could turn down these hi-hats here all right so what i did i went ahead and added the kicks and the rims on here and also sped the beat up remember it was at 118 you can hold uh tap tempo and you can scroll back if you remember it was at 118 and it sounded like this all right so what i'm gonna do is speed it up
up back to tempo I had it which is 128 just about 10 uh, and then this is what it sounds like now <laughs> y'all sticking around for the entire video if you have any questions go ahead and hit me down in the comments i answer your questions and if you're thinking about getting an npc studio for 150 it's a good buy to me you know what i'm saying and you do get that npc feel i bought mines and i ain't stopped using it since almost every beach you hear me make i pretty much use that all right until next time y'all peace